I bet you've been thinking a lot about the outside lately. Remember outside? With its golden beaches and lush woods and all the nature that was just everywhere out in the sunshine waiting for you. But think a little harder. You're misremembering. That's not what the outside's really like. Remember, going outside is shit. The beaches are overcrowded. The woods are full of birds that are just going to shit on your head. And that's if, if you even get to those places. I mean, most of us, our experience of going outside is just run-down shopping centres and littered streets and grey, foreboding, concrete buildings. And that's before you even get to the people. God, remember the people? They were everywhere. Everywhere you turn, more people. Oh, God, people are the worst. No, you're much better off staying indoors. It's great that we can think about going to the shops again and we can start to see our families and even look forward to getting new haircuts, but now the lockdown restrictions are starting to ease, it can feel even harder for those of us who are shielding or self-isolating. Plus, just because the rules have changed doesn't mean that the virus has actually gone away. We're still better off staying at home as much as we can. Exactly. And with that in mind, I thought I'd make this video to remind you all of some of the fun that you can have staying at home. I know we're all feeling a bit of lockdown fatigue, but it's not that bad being at home. Like, for example, what's the best thing about a night out? Getting on the dance floor with my mates? No, not that. Talking to people I don't live with? Anyone I don't live with? No, obviously not. The best thing about a night out is the pre-drinks. Like before you have to go and outside in the cold and you have to queue for ages to get into a club and then you have to wait at a packed bar, you have to sit in the comfort of your own home, drink cheap booze and have a nice time. Now your whole evening is pre-drinks, like I've got my cider here. This used to be drinking alone in the house, now it's pre-drinks, all night. If you say so. Another good thing about staying at home is you don't have to worry so much about your appearance. Like, for example, I've been wearing this t-shirt for days, I don't brush my hair, I, I don't bathe very often, um, I've stopped shaving. Well, yeah, but what about the people who have to live with you? Well, I mean, I only live with my girlfriend and, and she never used to shave anyway, so... I guess it's nice that we have that in common now. Also, pre-lockdown, I used to make a lot more effort in how I would dress. Like, for example, before leaving the house, I would always cover my genitals. For the good of everyone. But now I'm at home all the time, I don't have to bother. Right now, I am literally naked from the waist down. Hang on a minute, you're sat there half naked? Yeah! You're sat there balls out, getting bum sweat all over the sofa? Well... I, well, I, I mean, I wouldn't have put it quite like that, but I guess. Put some pants on. It's fine. I'm not going out. No one can see me. Oh, well, will you at least put a towel down or something? All right, bossy stranger watching my video on the internet, I'll put a towel down. Thank you. Anyway, another good thing about being stuck at home is it gives you more time to experiment in the kitchen, you know? Enjoy cooking, try some new recipes. Oh, great, does that mean you're cooking tonight then? Ellie, can you not, can you stop giving away that you just live here? You're supposed to represent the viewer at home. You're spoiling it, can you just do the lines like I wrote them? He's right, that would be better. Well, all right, but I'm only asking, are, are you cooking dinner tonight or not? Just agree, it's easier. Yeah, all right, I'll cook dinner tonight. Are you happy? Yes, actually. Good. Right, now, I wasn't going to do this bit, but as Ellie's blatantly given away that we live together, uh, here's something I filmed earlier, right? Here's another fun way to, to have fun at home. Really relax. Why not draw yourself a nice long bath? Uh, have a good book, maybe get some candles on the go. That's what my girlfriend Ellie is doing right now. Let's see how she's getting on. 
So, Ellie, how are you? How are you enjoying your? Yeah, I'm just. Uh, Grace, just for the. Fuck out. But it's just. Great, no. Uh, fuck off. I can't believe you just showed that. What? It's on topic. People might find it helpful. Right. Well, two can play at that game. Wait, what are you doing? Just looking for a couple of videos. Wait, you've not been secretly filming me, have you? You know that's only funny when I do it. And here we go. Everyone thinks you are great. Forget about that one audience that one time. They were the ones who were wrong. Success is for hacks, and money is burden you can. Guys, you will not believe what this dickhead is up to this time. Hi, guys. Fuck uh, off. This is me, Chris Chopping. As you know, uh, I've every. Saturday, I've been setting up my amp in the street so that uh, I can read Back extracts off! from Ulysses to you. I can all enjoy it as a street and a community. Um, so I'm just going to pick up where I left off. Okay, guys? So, uh, where were I? Okay. Uh, I was with Bob Doran. He on one of his periodical bends. And what do you call him, Bantam Lions? Just down there in Conway we were. Doran Lions in Conways. She raised a glove hand to her hair. In came Hoppy, having a wet, drawing back his head and gazing far from and beneath his gale eyelids. Talent, he saw the bright fawn skin shine in the glare Fuck off. the braided drums. Fuck off. Clearly, I can say today. Thanks for that, yeah, that's good. It's not easy making these videos, you know, it takes actually it's quite a lot of work for me. I mean I mean they're not difficult to make as such, I'm just I'm just not very good at it. 